What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. So when you talked about Tupperware, I want to go over some of the current data points, what's been coming out from the company as of late, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So it's been quite some time since I've covered Tupperware. It didn't really do too much. It kind of showed that the data points were pointing to it just being stagnant over the foreseeable future. And it kind of was somewhat true. It did piggyback off the broader market somewhat and has gone up from its lows around one dollar but once again i'm going to go over all that as of right now it is up 4.87 percent a lot of volatility so 211 the high and a dollar 92 is the low and for volume pretty good for a friday in fact so 1.47 million shares have been traded 1.44 is the average as of right now there has been no recent sec filings no press releases nothing like that from the company itself so the last news that came out was october the 17th so it's been quite some time today pce numbers did come out better than anticipated so it's kind of giving the green light once again to the broader market to continue to rally so i feel like that has saved tepware this recent rally over the last two weeks give or take because people's appetite for risk has gone up and so people are kind of rushing to a lot of these discounted stocks, somewhat discounted, and causing them to either stay stagnant, if not trend up. Because based on just their last quarterly earnings, they had $110.10 million in cash equivalents and short-term investments versus $785.2 million in debt. So this company has a lot of debt and with a and in the current environment that we are in right now companies such as this are just bleeding uh, profusely in fact so when it comes down to it though one interesting point based on the latest Morningstar report which did recently come out I believe tail end of last week it does show the fair market value for Tupperware being three dollars and seventy cents so that's just based on the assets of Tupperware alone so that's something to kind of consider but as well, if you are one of those individuals that likes to look at a lot of metrics and whatever else, the PS ratio on Tupperware is 0.1. That is just absolutely insane. And that has been something I did reiterate time and time again over my videos. Technically, with them having sufficient amount of debt is a big red flag, but at the same time, it is seen by the broader market at a substantial discount. So... That might be something that hopefully changes in the foreseeable future. In the past, we have seen a lot of restructuring news that causes Tupperware to go up pretty significantly. So all it takes is one good piece of news and Tupperware could get a rush of value investors coming in. So something to kind of consider, I'll go over what shorts are doing. So right now they are returning 23.29 thousand shares, 19.67% of the free float is being shorted, 7.8 3 million shares overall are being shorted cost to borrow average is not really showing anything but through interactive brokers it does indicate that they are charging 16.43 and typically interactive brokers is on the low end so of course that does mean that it's significantly higher from that something to consider based on interactive brokers as well it does indicate that there's around 250,000 shares available to be shorted so as i said the broader market is ready to rally so this is why a lot of shorts might be leaving a lot of these meme stocks such as Tupperware. So bigger and better things might be coming. We just have to sit and wait and be patient. When it comes down to the options, currently there is $39,000 in puts being purchased versus 57,000 in calls. Of all the options activity today though, the set min is oriented around 65% to bearish. So people are anticipating for Tupperware to continue to trend down. Of the call options that are being purchased, it is anticipated for it to be a above two dollars by the end of next week and looking at puts not really much um, in all honesty but it is anticipated for it to be sub a dollar fifty by i guess january the 12th 2024 so not really that popular of a stock options wise so once again something to consider but the technicals with it at two dollars and six cents it is between this pivot and the r1 so two dollars and 13 cents is going to be that next strong resistance which it kind of did bounce off of today with 211 being the high two dollars is going to be the next strong support 
support that you want to watch for. And then below that is going to be a dollar 87, dollar 79, and a dollar 66. So it does have a lot of good tight support. So that could really work in Tupperware's favor, especially like I mentioned with the broader market and people's appetite for risk kind of increasing, that could really help Tupperware bigger picture, um, at least in the short term. So once again, something to consider. Let me know your thoughts on Tupperware. Do you think that it is going to get anywhere close to where it once was, or do you think it's going to retrace back to, for instance, the dollar mark or dollar fifty? What's your viewpoint on Tupperware? And do you think that people's appetite for risk is going to save this company? Because this is a abnormal, no, well, I wouldn't say abnormal, but it is a immense red flag having this amount of debt even though they were able to restructure it so a lot of that is long-term debt up until i think it's 2027 2028 one of those um which is still good but still in the short term it's i don't know it's not the best so once again let me know your thoughts on tupperware don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that and one final thing i just wanted to share with you take advantage of this promo only up until december the 31st sign up for an account with moon with throw hundred dollars at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so this is a win-win link in the description below and also comments with all that said i appreciate all of you watching